Hello, I'm Philippe Cousteau, president of Earth Echo International. Global warming may seem like the latest hot topic, but we know someone who's been working to stop it most of his life. And so is his family, going back generations. He's our Power Player of the Week. Climate change is affecting people in their everyday lives, and things, I think Katrina especially, was a, was a big wake-up call for people. Philippe Cousteau is riding a wave. Six years ago, he set up a nonprofit environmental organization called Earth Echo International, along with his sister, Alexandra. These days, with Al Gore's movie on global warming and the cover of the latest Newsweek, environmental issues are suddenly hot. Now that you've got people's attention, what's the challenge? Our message is not that you can make a difference, but that everything you do makes a difference. We'll get back to that day, in a moment. Every single person. But yes, if you're wondering, Philippe is the grandson of the legendary explorer Jacques Cousteau, who introduced most of us to the undersea world. His father, Philippe Sr., made films pushing conservation of what he called this water planet. Now, a new generation of Cousteaus say they're trying to make the environment fun, cool, and sexy. How are you making the environment sexy? One of the things that we're incorporating into some of the, some of the media that we're doing is, is extreme sports. Everything from windsurfing to rock climbing to, to skydiving to get to a remote location. Most people don't realize that most of the food that we eat travels the average piece of 1,200 miles to get to your table. So imagine all the resources that are consumed with that food. If that sounds hard to manage, he says there are the cleaning products we use. People use chlorine bleach for all sorts of different reasons in their dishwashers and in their, in their sinks. And chlorine bleach goes into the environment and, well, just like it does in your sink, it kills everything. If his father and grandfather used books and films to spread their message, Cousteau focuses on new media, such as the internet and in-flight entertainment. Earth Echo hosted a student film festival this year, including this entry. Hi, I'm Katie Geringer, and I'm concerned about cars. Cousteau acknowledges the environmental movement is traditionally seen as liberal. He's delighted some evangelical Christians now embrace these issues. The worst thing that ever happened to the environmental movement was that it became a red or a blue issue. It became a Democrat or a Republican or a liberal or a conservative issue because it's not. Um, clean air and clean water affect liberals and Republic, you know, Republicans alike. This third generation of Cousteaus says it feels a special mission to carry on the family's life work. We just always had an awareness that was heightened about our relationship and our responsibility to be better stewards and be good stewards of the environment and of each other. Philippe Cousteau is now developing a video game to get his message on the environment out to kids. Look for it sometime next year. As parents, what can we do to model good environmental stewardship and also teach it to our children? Well, you, you said it right there, to model good environmental stewardship. You know, we have a huge impact on young people and our, and our children as we grow up and as they grow up. And, and we can provide a, a real meaningful role model for our young people. As you leave here tonight, if the images you witnessed of the incredible wonder and majesty of our water planet have touched you, remember that great adventure is within us all and that we all have the power to be explorers because the adventure is the knowledge and responsibility to make a positive difference in our world so that these images you enjoyed will still be here for your children to be inspired by. And I'll leave you with the words of my grandfather who said, we can find happiness in protecting the world around us not only because we cherish it for its awesome beauty, power, and mystery, but because we cherish our fellow human beings, those who live today and those who will live tomorrow, living beings who, like ourselves, will increasingly depend on the environment for happiness and even for life itself. Thank you, and see you at the party.